Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sevenvolts channel to building the high-grade build fighters, the Gundam Portent. So, I I picked this up in Hong Kong like three months ago, and it was a very cheap price, seventy XKD. I have to repeat that again because that's just how cheap it is. So, if you want to, you know, turn that into USD uh, or AUD, do it by yourself. It's seventy XKD. So, I already give you the number. Just Turn it on yourself, okay? So it's a pretty old build. It's twenty fifteen, so it's four years ago. It's pretty. It's funny how time passed so quick, right? And then now we can look at the side. So we got some description about it. We got a stand, a lot of hand options, articulation, and then we got the introduction here. If you know how to read Japanese, then I suggest you can stop here and kind of look at it. But I don't, I can't read Japanese, so let's just quickly get to the start. So we got five packages with a instruction menu down below. There's the introduction of the pilot and the MS, and there's the information of the gunplay as well. And there's the cover at the back. At the back, we got the stands, we got the weapons, we got the introduction, customized plan, and one point technique, something that I miss so much. Like, I wish they still put that on a build diver's menu, but hey, apparently they didn't, okay? So now, this, so according to the official information, it doesn't based on any MS, it's created from the idea of the Natalie and the Nobel, but officially Gundam Portent isn't based on any kits. It's unlike the Transcend, unlike the Gundam The End, and unlike the Bill Bill Strike. Uh, you can pick a name, okay? Pick a name. And then now we look at the runner. So all of them will be used. That's good. I don't want I don't want to be like Gabaldi Ribake, you know? Gabaldi Ribake wasted a lot of unnecessary runners. And now we can quickly flick through the instruction menu. It's not really anything special. If you really want to read the edit, there's a lot of it on online. You can kind of read the instruction menu if you really want to. There's a lot there's a lot of them on online. If you really want to look at it, then just look at it. Okay, now let's not talk that much. I'm gonna open up the runners first. Now we opened up all the runners and let's take a quick look of it. So this is a B2 runner. It is the shoulders joint, the legs joint, and the feet, and also Part of the legs joint. That's the F runner. So the F runner, I believe, is the side skirt and the torso. That's the G part, beam rival. D part, the GN condenser, and then the blade. A beam saber effect part. C runner. So we got torsos and shoulder parts and the gin drive and also the front of the waist and then we got E part this is the feet the shoulders the antennas and the waist part and I believe that's the head one of the head part as well action base H1 so we got the backpack and I believe that's the yeah I think the whole unit is backpack so that's the A runner we got the legs arms and then head gen drive handpiece and some part of the backpack some part of the legs the gen drive in the middle and then we got the antennas here b1 runner so we got the hands option we got the rival base we got the waist part we got the shoulder part the feet part and the gun head as well potty caps and a so so sticker so i don't really like this two part i assume it's gonna be bad is this such a big sticker and then out of it i think it's just the it's just the gn condensers uh stickers well anyway let's just start, let's just start the building and then i'll see you guys in the review
Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the review of the Gundam Portent. So this is the finishing of it. It's a very solid kit, I have to say. It's not really, you know, fancy or you know, a lot of accessories or you know, a, a lot of a lot of special hidden details. It's just a solid kit, okay. But the one part that I don't really understand, though, how is this Gunpla elegant? I like. Excuse me, I don't really think it's elegant, it's just, it is just simple. I don't really think it's elegant, so... I don't really understand the theme of it. Maybe I just don't have the touch of the designer. Maybe I just don't really understand the theme, but whatever, that's... Okay, that's not a topic, let's get back to the review. A uh, couple things that I like, a couple things that I don't like. Um, I like the... I, I overall like the design, but I don't really like the parts and the joint on the gunpla it is sloppy for some reason it's very sloppy actually and i don't i'm not sure why and some part it shouldn't be tight and were extremely tight and it's very hard to pull it out or very hard to move around i'll get to the details when i introduce to that bug uh well anyway not gonna talk too much let's jump straight into it first we look at the head the head is actually Two pieces of sticker and then on the top here there's a there's a large sticker here it's a silver sticker so you can so you can see is is shiny inside it's kind of like a gn condenser thing and then we turn to the back we can see um the one panel line spot for you and turn to the front the head i don't know why but the head looks pretty weird to me i don't know why i don't know about you guys though but when i look at the head it looks kind of weird but the head articulation is very surprising actually you can lift up that high lift down and then turning around without without any questions you without any interruption is quite nice the head articulation is actually quite nice and i pretty like it all right let's look at the torso the torso is just like any kind of double mobile suit as you can see a large large gn drive stick right at the middle but this one is different than extra the extra the if you built an extra before you would know that the chest piece here actually would move with the hands but this time it doesn't so it's not a complete extra design so the waist got two parts one part is for the for the movement and another part is for the overall movement one part is just for a slight spot movement it is a ball joint but it's pretty stable cough cough kind of ground type why can't you do that cough cough okay anyways and the waist is taking a very simple design no front skirt uh if you call this a back skirt then whatever uh this back skirt in this setting is supposed to be five harrows in it and then they would just open up the container here and then they will pop out and it fix the and temporarily fix the gamper uh, during the battle but sorry this is a xg okay we don't have that kind of detail okay this is a xg and i would just say though the torso and the waist pretty simple design and actually fit kind, kind of fits the double theme you know doubles ms scumpers they all got a very common thing is they either don't actually have a front skirt armor red skirt armor or either or they either have a very large ones and i think this really fits the double theme no front skirts well now let's talk about the hand so the hand uh, it can move 360 not really actually the backpacks will be in the, in the way and the beam saber as well so for some reason my i don't know about you guys if you guys have the same one like mine please report it to me do you guys ever have the problem of this I don't know, this wing stabilizer thing is very sloppy because if I move it, I feel like it's going to pop out any second. The other side is just literally impossible to pose, so I already glue it on. As you can see, it's unmovable. I literally, that that side of the wing stabilizer is literally unposable, so I just just glue it. And then the whole hands, uh, yeah, see, this is another thing, this is another thing about the hands, um, the arms. It's very easy to pop out. They don't, they don't have a design that is, the depth is, enough to let the ball joint to be stabilized i don't know why it keep popping out so the hands can lift up L nearly 90 not going to be saying it's bad uh the whole arms is capable of bending that up so it's pretty good and we can lift it down now and then the whole and then the whole arms is able to rotate around and yeah so it's just some very basic articulation it's not really shocking or you know uh, very 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 
game changer or anything. It's just a very simple basic. But I seriously don't understand how how are my Gunpowder's arms keep popping up consistently. If you guys have the same, if you guys have know anyone that have the same Gunpowder, I mean, can you please tell me? Do you guys still have the same problem of the arms popping out every time? Because I mine always do that when I was shooting the photos. Uh, before I record this video. All right, let's take a look at the legs. So first, we got the side uh, wings as well. You can move it around whatever you want. You can adjust it to position. The legs got a the legs is a ball joint, so you can move uh, up and down. Unfortunately, this the, this piece of armor is actually blocking in the way, so you can't really do side to sides. And the legs is able to spin around. Not really 360, but it can spin around. Uh, 180 and then the legs is sport slightly RG ish, you know, uh, connective armor. As you can see, it will retract it back once you turn the legs around. The legs is capable of kicking to the front slightly. Um, unfortunately, this piece of armor is actually blocking in the way, you can't really kick to the front. Kick to the back is pretty good, it's, it's actually limited. Actually, the legs movement is slightly limited, but let's be honest, we Let's be honest, I don't really know why Bandai would limit this kind of leg movement. I'm, this scum is supposed to be, you know, very, very good at movements and then they limited the movements on it, the actual product. So I don't really understand what are they doing. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the back skirt is actually movable this time. You can slightly lift up 45, down 45. Just choose whatever angle you want and then you can pose it to the angle position that you want. So now let's turn around and look at the backpack. So first we can see this GN drive here, nothing surprising. The backpack here, you can slightly turn 90 degrees. Other than that, there's nothing else you can do. Uh, the mold itself is is already fixed angle. It's already got a fixed angle for you, so you can't really do anything with the backpack other than just showing it this side. There's two beam sabers at the side. They can move down or move up. But I honestly need to say though, these beam zippers is extremely tight and it's literally impossible to pull it out. Uh, I was shooting some photos like that. I think I, I, I'm like, I'm risking to break the parts to get the beam zippers out just to take a photo. It's, it's crazy, man. It's, the beam zippers is ridiculously tight. The joints is ridiculously tight. Like, Every time I pull it, I'm just afraid I'm gonna break the whole thing. Like they seriously have to. I just don't really understand why it makes the beam saber part so freaking, so freaking tight. It's literally impossible to pull it out. Well, now welcome to the accessory part. So first, we got a four-piece action base. It's very simple. It doesn't require a lot of work. You just basically rip off the part and then just, uh, put it back together. That's just very simple and. This section base though is not like the normal action base too. You can adjust the angle. It's a fixed angle, so enjoy. And next up, we got a beam rival. The rival is pretty simple design. It's just two gray piece and two white piece putting up together, and then with a green sticker at the camera. Uh, I mean the scope, anyways. And next up, we got a GM blade. I believe this is GM blade. The white part is completely stickers and it's extremely hard to get it right. I rip it off a lot of times just to get it right. Oh, I dropped it. I didn't mean to. But uh, I put on the white sticker a lot of time just to get it right. As you can see here, I still didn't put it right. You can see, you can see yourself here. It's actually still kind of popping out. But uh, I kind of give up about that because I'm, I don't, I don't really want it. You know, pull it out and then put it back again. As you know, stickers. If you pull it out too, if the stickers you pull out too much times, it actually loses the, and it actually loses the uh, durability. And then next up, we got two short beam sabers, and then you also got an option of two long beam sabers. So you can put on to the beam sabers whichever short or long version that you want. And next up, we got other from the other than the Gamper's original fist hand, we got. Uh, some kind of hand option. So this is the weapon holding hand and this is the open hand for the left hand only. So that's pretty much the accessory. I don't really think there's anything else that I can say about this. This is a very simple gun pull and not really much accessory. So that's pretty much it. Well, so there you have it. This is the review of the gun important. So thank you for watching and hope you guys like this review. Please drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more contents. My comment about this gun is 
it's pretty solid. It's not like bad and it's not really excellent. But I would say it's a pretty solid kit and it actually takes not it, it takes a very short time to finish the whole kit, including the panel lighting. So if you were looking for a solid kit with not really much work, I think you should buy one and kind of enjoy it. But first, you might need to glue this wing stabilizer because it's keep popping down and I don't really like it. I'm gonna glue it once I close the camera because I seriously hate to see parts keep falling off again, again, and again. I hate it, okay? Like sometimes I wish Ben I actually test their parts before they release it because I seriously, I, I repeat myself again, I seriously hate to see parts keep flopping around and then just you, you either drop it on the floor or you either can't even hold it up or you can't even hold the position that you are but anyways this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time in another gumper review goodbye